Hey everyone, welcome back all you one-star chefs to the Seafood Supper Club. I'm Andrew Wilkinson, Chef Director of Research and Development here at North Coast Seafoods. So we're heading into the holiday season now, which means for so many people, in New England especially, your favorite seafood dishes will begin making their yearly debut. And this year, our lives have been turned upside down for sure. So it's only fitting that tonight, we'll be making an upside down seafood pot pie, which is exactly what it sounds like. A crispy puff pastry crust that's topped with warm butter poached shrimp and scallops, leeks, fennel, and a rich lobster sauce. This is a tried and true holiday dish, total comfort food, and who doesn't love that? Our kicker ingredient this week is naked seafood. I always have a bag or two of this in my freezer at home. And especially during these holiday months, keeping a bag of naked shrimp, salmon, scallops, or cod on hand is a must. So face it, it's not always convenient to get to the store to grab fresh fish for dinner. So this naked seafood can be thawed on a moment's notice, and it's all certified sustainable product. Best part though, there are no chemicals, no antibiotics, and never any preservatives. Trust me, this is as good as buying fresh. So, let's get right into making our dish, shall we? Let's go. Home chefs don't have the luxury of a pastry chef on staff. Making puff pastry from scratch can take days. So let's leave this five-star ingredient for the experts to supply. We'll be baking our pastry crust separately. So that means it can be baked up to one day ahead of time. It's important to thaw completely so it's pliable. Unfold the sheet carefully and cut into quarters. Now we dock our dough by making pricks on both sides with a dinner fork. This will prevent a ballooning of the dough. Let's add a little chef detail here. Simple egg wash, which is nothing but a beaten egg with a tablespoon of water and will add a beautiful shine to the finished pastry. Brush onto your dough and bake in a preheated 400 degree oven for 14 to 16 minutes until golden brown and cooked throughout. This will be our base for the seafood pot pie. So let's talk frozen seafood here. Why do I love frozen naked seafood so much? Because it's a totally clean label product that consistently performs in the kitchen just like fresh seafood. The shrimp are peeled and deveined. With the scallops, we need to remove this little muscle on the side, which peels off very easily. There's nothing wrong with this muscle. It just adds a little toughness to the scallop if left on. Understanding these little chefy details makes a big difference in your final dish. Tonight, we will butter poach our shrimp and scallops, which means slow cooked in warm butter and wine. When cooking seafood slowly with high quality butter, it's basically a sauce waiting to come together. When chefs butter poach their seafood, it leads to an extremely tender texture and flavor-packed dish. So add in your naked shrimp and cook on a light simmer. Season with kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Tonight we're using 2125 peeled and deveined shrimp. I've removed the tails because shells do not belong in our pot pie tonight. Add in your white wine of choice and cook just till done, about two minutes. Flip and cook for about another 30 seconds before removing from the pot. Bring the butter and wine back to a simmer. Same routine here. Add in your naked scallops and season with salt and pepper. Cook until just done, as we'll be adding the shrimp and scallops back into our sauce later to finish cooking. Be sure to spread the scallops out evenly. And if your pot is drying out a bit, don't be afraid to add in a splash more wine or butter. After about two minutes, flip the scallops and cook for 30 seconds more. Remove and keep warm on the side. So what do we need for our sauce? More butter, shallots, leek, and fennel. Then we have another chef shortcut here, lobster bisque to take our sauce to the next level. We'll finish it off with some white wine and fresh parsley. Fennel has an odd shape, 
so it requires some concentration when you're cutting. Flatten the bottom, cut off its green branches and cut in half. Then we're going to remove the core with a V cut. Then chop your fennel in long thin slices and then cut in half again. Leeks add a subtle and soft onion flavor to all your dishes. Remove the woody green ends, split in half, and remove the root end. Cut into one inch pieces. Remember, leeks grow in very sandy soil. So once you break them apart into pieces, give them a good rinse. And we're on to the home stretch here. In the same pot you cooked your seafood in, add another knob of butter, Add your shallots, leek, and fennel. This is truly a classic culinary trilogy of flavors. Season with salt and pepper and cook on low heat. Add about a half a cup of wine and bring to a simmer. Then add your lobster sauce. Oh, I mean your lobster bisque. No, I mean your lobster sauce. Well, whatever, you, you get what I'm talking about. And bring all of this to a hearty simmer. This is starting to look really, really good. And the feeling of anticipation for this delicious meal is building up. And now, checking into the game. Number one, butter poached naked seafood. <laughs> That's right. Now it's time to add our shrimp and scallops back into the pot to finish cooking in the sauce. Always taste for seasoning adjustments. Add your fresh chopped parsley to add some brightness to the sauce. And now we're ready to plate. So I think you all know what's coming next. We must serve wine. Nectar of the gods, you know. Today, Michael from Table and Vine has recommended a 2018 Technique Chardonnay from Sonoma, California. This creamy seafood pot pie needs an equally rich Chardonnay. This wine from the cool vineyards of the Russian River Valley also has a bright acidity that keeps this dish feeling light. So you can taste the pears and apples. It has a nice toasty oak finish. I'm digging this wine and I know you're gonna dig it too. Cheers. In a large soup plate, add your freshly baked puff pastry square. I break the top a little bit so the pastry can absorb our delicious sauce. Now top the pastry with your seafood, leek, and fennel goodness. I love the addition of some freshly steamed asparagus as an accompaniment. Very fancy. And there you have it. In about 40 minutes, you have an incredible upside down seafood pot pie. A beautifully unique and hearty holiday dish your guests will remember. So there you have it, a tried and true seafood recipe that is an excellent choice for any holiday dinner. This dish will certainly impress your guests and leave them with that warm, cozy, fully satisfied feeling that you get at the end of a spectacular meal. Nice work, chefs. Now, there's nothing left to do but pour the wine, light the candles, and enjoy your seafood supper. Here's to you.